Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to find the area of a triangle on a coordinate plane. So let's say that you have a picture like this where we have a triangle that's just laid out on the coordinate plane. And it's not a right triangle, it's just a triangle laid out um, where we don't have a nice right angle and we can't even draw an altitude very easily. Okay, so what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is identify these three vertices. So identify A and write its coordinates down, identify B and write its coordinates down, and identify C and write its coordinates down. So this one is 4, 2, 6, 6, and 10, 4. Okay, so I've identified my triangle and my vertices. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this formula and I'm going to show you how to plug into it because it is a little confusing. So let me zoom back out for you so you, whoops, so you guys can see this formula. Okay, here's our formula. The area of the triangle is equal to the x-coordinate of A times the b-coordinate minus the c-coordinate plus the bx-coordinate times the difference of the c and the a, the, the c coordinates y coordinate and the a coordinates y coordinate or a point and then I'm going to take c's x coordinate and I'm going to subtract the y coordinate of a and b and then once I get that sum I'm going to divide it by 2 and then notice I have an absolute value bar on it so if this ends up being negative I'm just going to take the positive answer because it's asking for the absolute value and area can only be positive okay so let's kind of work through these Notice that I have the x-coordinates labeled here, here, and here. So I'm going to go over here and note that, okay? The 4 is ax, the 6 is bx, and the 10 is cx. I'm going to go ahead and plug those x-coordinates in. So I'm going to get 4 times something plus 6 times something plus 10 times something. Okay, so now let's go back and get the difference in the y coordinates. I'm going to take my y coordinate of my b and c and subtract those. So I'm going to take these two and subtract them. So I'm going to take 6 minus 4. Then for this one, I'm going to subtract my b by c coordinates, the c points y coordinate minus the a. So I'm going to get 4 minus 2. And then I'm going to have the y coordinate of A minus the y coordinate of B. So I'm going to subtract these two. So A minus B. There we go. Okay, and then all that, I'm going to get the sum of all that and then divide it by 2 and then take the absolute value. So now let's crank this out. Now it's just simplifying. Okay, 4 times 6 minus 4 is 2. So I'm going to get 8 plus. Uh, this is going to be 2, so 6 times 2 is 12, plus 10 times 2 minus 6 is negative 4, so I'm going to get plus a negative 40, okay? So now let's add all this together. 8 plus 12 is 20, plus negative 40, that would be what? Negative 20. Now I got a negative answer, and Remember, we have to divide by 2, so let's take that divided by 2, so that's going to be negative 10. But we know we're going to take the absolute value. So once we get down to here, we're just going to take the positive value, so we know that the area of this triangle is 10 square units. And that is how you use the coordinate system. So there you go. Hope this video was helpful.